Hey everyone, this is the Snake383. Welcome to the finale of Mega Man Legends. We have the Sleeper, Dreamer, and Watcher keys in our possession. Now all we have to do is open this central gate. So let's go. The second door. What is this? It reads, Sleeper. The third door. What does this one say? Dreamer? Well, it should be the last one. What's happening to me? This is the first time I've ever been here, but I feel like I've seen this before. Something is telling me there's danger here, that it shouldn't be opened. It's a man? A person? Was it you who awoke me? It is somewhat earlier than I had planned, but no matter. Thank you for awakening me. Hmm. Have we met before? Oh, please forgive me. You are a purifier model. Assigned to the direct command of Mother, as I recall, you were designated Mega Man Trigger. Please forgive me. I did not recognize you in your current configuration. You... you know me? You don't remember? Ah, I see. You have suffered memory loss, yes? Then for what purpose have you awakened me? I assume... That your reason for coming here is to purge the carbons that have overpropagated during the time I was inactive. Carbons? Purge? What are you talking about? According to Urban Military Security Ordinance A10, the number of carbon units is not allowed to increase beyond the pre specified limit. If this happens, they are to be purged immediately. My observation if left unattended, the carbons will reproduce indefinitely, their numbers will grow polluting the surface world. They can be quite a nuisance. Carbons? Do you mean the people on the island? The carbons fit mass population model B. They are unstable, very difficult to control. Perhaps it would be better to simply reinitialize. Reinitialize? Now, I haven't understood much of what you've been saying, but when you say reinitialize, do you mean no? This is quite regrettable. It would be much simpler if I had the assistance of a proficient unit, such as yourself. Once my task is complete, I shall inquire as to the presence of a backup of your memory on Eden. Until then, please remain where you are. Yes, until then. Did you hear that, Diesel? Yep. Something tells me he's not kidding either. I really think he plans to kill everyone on the island. Diesel, we've got to do something. We've got to stop him. Hmm. That's easier said than done. Besides, do you think we could beat him? Well, um... What about Mega Man? Hmm. I don't like it, but I can't think of anything better, so... Oh, here's a problem. Hey, Trog! How do you stop this thing? Oh, this? Like this! Mega Man, are you alright? 
Uh, th thanks for your help. Come on, hurry up! He's getting away! Right. It's not over between you and me. I won't forgive you if you die or anything stupid like that, so be careful in there, okay? Right. See you later. Don't worry, Tron. If anyone can do it, he can. I know. In case you're one of the few that's still confused about what's going on, I suppose I can answer your questions, considering the rest of the way to Mega Man Juno was linear. Also, you have one final buster part to obtain here. That's the power stream. This will max out your attack. So right now, you'll have the most powerful buster in the game. Should you choose to equip it, that is. Mega Man Juno is supposed to be the real governor of Catalox Island. He's supposed to be awakened only if humanity exceeded population limits. Which, of course, they have. He's a robot that sees people as mere data, nothing more. There also exists concept art of other Mega Men, like Mega Man Juno, who are also in charge of population control. Sadly, this concept art has yet to be seen in an actual Mega Man Legends game. You would also be correct in saying this is really reminiscent of Mega Man ZX Advent, where all the major characters that have a bio medal in that game hold the title of Mega Man. So you'd be correct in referring characters by their last name, Juno, or in Rock Volnut's case, Trigger. This is also where Mega Man Legends localization really shines. In Japan, bureaucratic and purifier models are referred to as purging officers, where Juno is a third class purging officer and Mega Man's a first class. You know what the funny thing is? This is praise coming from a very avid anime fan who hates all the unnecessary changes that's made to anime during localization, like soundtracks, names, etc. And Mega Man Legends is pretty much like a 3D anime. In fact, the people that created the sound effects for the game said that they wanted to have something that felt completely different compared to your usual run-and-gun video game. Also, I think this marks the one time that Data has been very unhelpful. Like, I guess he snuck down here while Mega Man was being tortured. Like, what did Data use to get down here? A cardboard box? He couldn't have used stealth camo, because that obviously doesn't exist. Or maybe he just used the chameleon net, like he just shoplifted one from the junk store. But I digress. I suppose Juno's implications that Mega Man lost his memory, as well as referencing to his current configuration of a boy that's about age 15, suggests that Mega Man is more than just a mere human. I suppose I should shut up right now, because if I reveal anything else, those would be heavy spoilers. But save if you need to, because this is the point of no return. Once you enter the door, there's no turning back. Hmm. It appears I miscalculated the odds of your ability to escape that trap. You are, however, too late. Eden was activated as soon as I entered this room. It cannot be deactivated as long as I, the master key of this island, remain here in this control room. All that remains now is to wait for Eden to enter transmission range and send the command to execute the reinitialization of this island. Once that command is received, the 10,000 workers aboard Eden will execute it immediately. My estimates indicate their work will be completed in less than five minutes.
Now that Eden has been activated, any further interference from you will remain on file, thus tarnishing my operating record. Fortunately, you are suffering from memory loss and fragmentation. Therefore, as Keeper of this island, I hereby exercise my prerogative of correctional dispensation. Prerogative of correctional? What? Allow me to rephrase. I will exercise my authority to terminate your program. You don't really have a time limit to defeat Mega Man Juno. Although it would make things much more interesting, like the final battle in Mega Man Zero Four. Mega Man Juno has five attacks. He'll fire lasers at the ground while launching his fists at you, rush at you with a flying headbutt, try to stomp you into the ground and create a shockwave, which you'll need to jump over, and he'll also fire his lasers in a wide radius. His final attack, if you get him close to low health, is disappearing, creating an explosion on the ground, reappearing, and then pounding his fist in the ground to create a final shockwave. If you decide you want to fight fair using the Mega Buster only, I suggest that you circle strafe around the room while firing it. If you caught the name of the space satellite, Eden, you'd be correct in assuming that it's a reference to the Bible, or the paradise where Adam and Eve got kicked out of. I just find it really ironic how a space station of doom is named after a paradise. Like, what was it? Was it opposite day when the ancients decided to name it? My, my. It would appear that I have made an error. No! You were nearly successful in terminating my life support subroutine functions. But do not be disappointed. It appears it will take longer than anticipated for Eden to reach its optimal altitude. If you can terminate me before then, you will be able to stop it. Assuming you are capable of deactivating me. What? Yeah, it just wouldn't be a Mega Man game without the final boss having a second form. Some of Juno's attacks in the second form are just the same as the first. For example, he'll still try to jump on top of you, and he'll also ram you. But this time, he'll toss a fireball in the air, and he'll also toss fireballs along the ground. His second form is definitely tougher than the first. But if you've maxed out the Shining Laser, you can easily take him out within 10 seconds, given that you don't screw around. I just did stall in defeating Mega Man Juno's second form, because I wanted him to show off his desperation move, which is definitely much more impressive than the one in his first form. If you choose to use the Mega Buster, I still recommend that you use the Circle Strafe and Shoot method. Whenever Mega Man Juno is stationary, that should be your chance to fire the Shining Laser. I find it hilarious how Mega Man Juno's tone of voice sounds much more menacing when he's in his second form. Because he just sounds much more like a wuss in his first form. Just a little bit of final trivia. In Japan, carbons are known as decoys and the Carbon Reinitialization Program is known as the Humanity Regeneration Program. Just chew on that for a while and see what you think. Then finally, after much delay, Juno uses his final attack. 
He'll launch lasers at you after charging up and creating a shockwave. All you can do is just move. To... There's no way you can counter them. It appears I was in error assuming that a bureaucratic model such as myself would be able to best you in hand-to-hand -hand combat. However, I was successful in keeping you occupied long enough for Eden to achieve optimal altitude before you could interfere. This is Mega Man Juno. Bureaucratic Model 3rd Class. Authorization number 8677. Requesting a reinitialization of this island's systems and a memory backup of its bureaucratic systems. Stop! Stop it! If you wish to shoot me, please do not hesitate. My program has already been backed up in Eden's central core. I eagerly await my next act division. Eden Systems ready. Awaiting confirmation. Requested backup of bureaucratic model Mega Man Juno complete. Execution of Catalog's reinitialization program will commence in 100 seconds. What should I do? Interrupt command. Priority command rerouted to purifier first class Mega Man trigger. Under suspicion of malfunction, bureaucratic model third class Juno has been deactivated by Mega Man trigger as per ordinance 103. Mega Man trigger hereby requests the indefinite postponement of the previous reinitialization order and the deletion of bureaucratic model Juno's backup data. Trigger hereby assumes all bureaucratic authority for the district and will petition Mother for guidance at a future date. Command reroute acknowledged. Priority given to Purifier First Class's command. Eden resuming standby mode and returning to pre-designated coordinates. Deleting log of Purifier First Class's correspondence as required by security ordinances. Requesting that notification to Mother be carried out by Purifier First Class Present bureaucratic authority trigger. Data? There's nothing to worry about anymore, Mega Man. Everything should return to normal shortly. Do you know who I am? I'm your peripheral memory storage device. You originally created me so your memory couldn't be scanned by Mother 2. I can't tell you anything yet, but soon I'll be able to tell you everything. What you are, why you lost your memory, your original function, and mission. Mega Man! Mega Man! Blasted contraption! It's always breaking down at the worst time! Mega Man, are you all right? Yep, I'm just fine. Gramps and I were working on the radio forever, but couldn't get it to work. Mega Man, you won't believe what we saw. I'm glad these old eyes of mine lasted long enough to see it. Calm down, Gramps. He's been like this ever since... Huh? Mega Man? Are you all right? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Really, I'm sorry that I scared you. You're always running off like that, making me worry myself sick over you. But somehow, I know you'll always make it back. I have faith in you. Thanks. See you soon. Data, let's go! E -e -e! Ready? Mega Man? Ready. Ah. All right, we're ready. 
ready to go anytime you are. Thanks, Ro. Tell me, do you really have to go so soon? After all you've done for us, please stay a while longer. We haven't had the chance to thank you properly. Well, it's not that we don't want to stay. It's just that we've got some unfinished business that we've got to take care of. Right? Yep. That's right. Besides, now that we've got a refractor for the flutter, it's time for us to go. If you must go, won't you at least come to town and say goodbye to everyone? Hmm. I suppose we should at least say goodbye, eh? Hey, Mega Man, why don't you go? Give him our best! It would mean so much to everyone. Go on, Mega Man, and say goodbye to the Junkman's wife for me. Okay, I'm going. This part is optional, but we might as well go back to town and say goodbye.
Well, there's not much left for us to do. All we gotta do is talk to Roll and tell her we're ready to leave. But now that you've beaten the game, you'll unlock hard mode. Which will cause Mega Man, the Flutter, and the boat to take larger amounts of damage. Enemies will also have an increased amount of stamina. Some bosses like Bruno will have their stamina bar extend way beyond the screen. But if you beat the game on hard mode, or if you decide to speedrun it in less than three hours, you'll unlock easy mode. In this difficulty level, Mega Man will start off with the jet skates and the best buster part in the game, Buster Max. This will max out all your buster attributes. Well, this is the end of the road, folks. I hope you had fun watching this LP as much as I had making it. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next LP. Thank you so much for your help. Take care of yourselves. Bye! Take care! Goodbye! See you later, Amelia! about your mom and dad or the mother load well it can't be helped it's not like we meant to come here in the first place right but everything worked out in the end right yeah hey mega man did something happen while you were underground huh yeah well not really don't worry about it well i don't know but <laughs> Don't ever forget that I'll always believe in you, okay? Roll! Mega Man! Roll! Look outside! The island! Mega Man! Okay! What is it? Whoa! Roll left! Left! Huh? Okay! Hey! Isn't that... Bye. They all came to see us all! I hope those of you at home are watching. Our brave heroes are taking off, heading for new adventures. As you can see, the people of Catalogs have come out to send them off and wish them well. Hey, everybody! They were all really nice people. Maybe we'll come back here and see them again. Yeah. Okay, setting new course. Here we go! One more thing. This would be the part where you get the end credits accompanied by some stock music and voice clips. Which is really, really lame. So instead, I'm replacing it with something better. Your Wind is Blowing by Reika Morishita. What? It's my video! I like Japanese music. Deal with it!
Well, there they go. Not a care in the world. Hey, Tron, can't this thing go any faster? No, it can't. I had to gather up all the spare parts from everything he blew up to build this. That's right, that's right. We'll just have to rough it until we get to the next island. If we sell what we found, we'll get back what we lost and then some. We'll live like kings. There was such a huge refractor down there, and all we had to do was just wander in and pick it up. I told you we'd have the last lap. <laughs> That's assuming we make it to the next island without sinking. Oh, well. At least he's in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs>